So let's talk sunglasses today. That's always fun, right? Especially when it's a sunny day after it's been raining for a long time. I always end up getting into this. So today we're going to talk about a Varnay model that I haven't got into yet. It's one of the legends. So the Legend 06. This is one that's a classic. One of the ones Varnay was originally made famous for in the 60s, if I remember correctly, for this model. So this was after the Legend 02, but falls in line just a few years after. I would think mid-60s, if I remember correctly. What's nice with this one, it has a really good traditional bridge fit. I've seen it work for a lot of different people. Very nice, flattering frame on a lot of different faces. And that's thanks to this little bit of a cut over here without being that full cat eye pull. It doesn't go too much. Now, this is one of their lenses that is not polarized, at least in this brown combination. They do make it in a polarized variant, so that is going to be the matte black frame with the blue mirror polarized. One of my favorite of their lenses because that high contrast filter, so you get that nice contrast and boost that you normally would get with a brown or a yellow lens. And speaking of contrast and brown lenses, with this frame, of course, you've got that nice medium gradient brown from top to bottom with that lighter finish being on the bottom. It's nice, especially the two-tone, right? Dark hair, red beard, all that fun stuff. But as far as the lenses, this one does come with the brown links, which is that wonderful little ski mirror, the bi-shaded mirror, where you have, doesn't really pick up on here very well. There we go. So you can see, as you start from the top, you've got that nice mirror reflection, and right about the middle it splits where you've got that open spot. That helps protect a little bit from glare and dazzling light above and below, basically making the top and the lower portion of the lens darker. So the big advantage of that being, without a polarized lens, you still get that extra protection from glare above and below. Now it works a little bit differently than what a polarizing filter does, but it doesn't affect depth perception. So when you need that heightened depth perception with increased contrast, but you still need to protect from a lot of glare, that's when you want to use that mirror. So it works really good for skiing, golfing, different situations like that. Now back to the actual frame itself because I've talked about these lenses a little bit before and we'll, we'll put a card up here that links to the video on the actual lenses so if you're more interested in reading, hearing, watching, whatever about that, you can do that. As far as the frame itself, we'll get back to that. So this is that full nylon frame just because it is that traditional style and you do have, of course, that actual nylon hinge section as well. Very strong, very resilient design. It's got a lot of nice flex to it and still fits and feels really well. The good thing about these, even though they still have the mineral glass lenses, weight-wise, because of that nylon, it's really not heavy. It actually weighs a little bit less than these, shockingly. But it's about him. Anyway, I'll skip that. As far as the frame itself, again, you've got that nice taper coming down across that temple area into the front of the frame right through here. Very soft, not really feminine or masculine, which again, it's kind of weird. This is a very wearable frame for a lot of different faces and a lot of different styles and wardrobes. Now what I do like they've done here, you've got that little bit thicker bridge on these, but it's actually cut and recessed on that back side. And that's where you can always tell the fine details of nicer stuff like this. It's not just flat cut from the front to the back. They actually taper that so it fits, again, a lot of different bridges. It works really well. So Amsterdam's the same way. It's, you can see you've got kind of that recessed cut, which is Something you normally only find in luxury lines. I find it really interesting that on this particular piece from Varnay, it still has that because this is one of their lower, lower price point frames. Let's go at it that way. So, you now it's not one of their three, four hundred dollar frames. I think these run two sixty to two eighty somewhere in that ballpark, depending on whether it is the polarized lenses or like that brown links lens calls falls kind of in the middle there with the mirror. It's not as big 
of a jump in price. I want to say the Polarized is right there at 285 Still a really good price point for the Barnet stuff. And, of course, it changes from there pretty dramatically. As far as the 06, I do like that. That's a nice classic piece. It's been around for years. It's not going anywhere. It's a very timeless design, so I don't see it falling out of fashion or trend, but that has been kind of a top-selling frame since. Like the Legend 03, it stays out of stock pretty consistently. Anyways, that's all I've got for today. Let me know your thoughts, what else you would like to see. I've got, of course, a ton of my own frames to play with, but I always like hearing your feedback and input as well. If you liked this video, follow along and subscribe, like, all that fun stuff if you don't already. Otherwise, I will catch you guys next time.